Let's talk about the scrubber for the Optima. Like I said, it's a very unique scrubber in the, where we put it to make the breathing loop smaller and make it easier to clear the loop, keep water out of it, and just improve the overall work of breathing of the unit. So it's located at the top of the unit. Let's just pull back the cover, and you can see that the cartridge is located right back here. Okay? This is where the scrubber is. So your breathing loop goes this way. You inhale, gas comes through here, travels around, and comes back up through here. So as gas travels, one of the things you're concerned about is water. So let's remove the end of the cartridge canister. And you can see the primary water trap right there. So any water that travels into the unit gets caught up in that area before it moves around and goes into the uh, scrubber itself. So it gets trapped right here. There's also another water trap right here, a screened water trap that makes water splash down and fall into the counter lung. But any other water is right here. And since the canister is at the very top of the breathing loop, the water is not going to flow down through the media because it's gets, it gets trapped right here. And then you just roll to your, left, to your right and flush it back down into the loop. Okay? And then you, can, then you can clear it out. But this is one of the things that make the, <coughs> the, the Optima very unique is this type of scrubber. Also, one of the things we do with the media is the fact that we have a pre-mix rod so that gas is injected and mixed prior to being pushed through the scrubber so you get a very good mixing of the O2 into the gas before it goes across the sensors. This prevents what's known in the industry as spikes, where when the O2 injects across the sensors, you can see the rise in the uh, PO2. So now you don't get that with the Optima. It's very smooth because there's no gas being injected right over the cells. So the big thing about the Optima, though, is how fast can you change a scrubber? Where everybody else, you have to take a big jug, pour it and shake it. With the Optima, all you do is peel, check the date on a sealed cartridge that you know exactly how new it is. You know its expiration date because it is sealed in a container and then put in a bag. Okay? Now, this media has no dust on it, so it makes it very water resistant. You can run water through it, and you don't click gather the dust because there is no dust to gather. Okay? This has the equivalent of a four and a half to five pound scrubber of hand packed media, meaning you'll get about three hours in 50 degree water, four hours in 75 degree water, and under 50 degrees, two hours, just like the other manufacturers who have a four and a half pound scrubber. So anyway, to install, just slide it through. There's your premix rod right there, sticking out the end. And put your, your tube in here. This is what we call a bore plug, so that there's no blow-by. This double O-ring sealed goes in and just pushes in like that. Okay, so now your scrubber's installed. Simple as that. Put the end cap back on. It's only a 90 degree turn. And you're ready to go. Okay? The big thing is how easy it is. So after the dive, when it comes to cleaning up the mess, it's easy to take the scrubber out because all you have to do is pull it out like this. You're ready to go. Use the box it came in to pack and get rid of your scrubber before you put it in a trash can. It's just that easy to change out a scrubber in an Optima.